Hi guys, Charlie here from Christmas on Crestline. Thanks for tuning in. We're doing our Christmas in July extravaganza. We're testing lights, we're opening lights, we're unboxing lights. It's gonna be a fun July. All right, this is our third unboxing video for Christmas in July. And what we're doing is we're getting everything out. It's our off season, which everybody's off season. And you wanna do things now to save yourself as much time as you can uh, when you hang lights starting in September, October, if you're doing a big show, or if you just do a static display, just do a couple of lights or throw a ranger out in your yard. You still always wanna know, know what you can do that's neat or cool or what's the next new light out there. Uh, so for Christmas lights, where what I do is I make a list of everything I want to do for the next year's show, order that, and I kind of forget about it. That way when I do some unboxing, I'm genuinely surprised a little bit. Um, the best, one of the best parts about Christmas Day is unopening that present. What's inside, you just don't know. So let's find out. Map, have the box, please. Thank you. This here's Tommy. She's helping out. Say hi, Tommy. Give hi, a Tommy. There we go. Thank you so much. All right, so this is from Creative Displays up in the Kansas City area. We're doing an unboxing series of their product. Um, this one, I don't know. I've already taken the scissors and undone and undone and uh, broken into seal. Uh, on the box here, it says I got green wires, it says C9s, uh, SMD LED bulbs. I don't remember ordering any C9s, so let's find out what's inside. That's my big old receipt and a bunch of shredded paper, which Tommy over here just asked about the shredded paper. She said I should tape that back up. That's not quite how it works. This is a lot of shredded paper, my goodness. Um, okay, well we have, oh, a bunch of different things in here, neat. There we go. Uh, first thing up, ooh. Let me get this stuff out of the way. It's kind of in the way. Bam. Now these are kind of neat. I've been wanting to try these out. And this is for, um, for our product testing, for our products we use. One of the things we're gonna do is knock these bad boys out. These are weatherproofing gaskets. And you take an extension cord and you put this on the, the, the cord and you plug in the other cord. So you marry two cords, you daisy chain them. And this very stretchy fella says it will keep the water out, the moisture out. Um, for your lines out in the yard. So what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna take some lights, we're gonna put them in some water, we're gonna freeze them. Already sounds like a great idea. And we're gonna see if these guys actually do what they say they're gonna do and keep all the moisture out. So one of two things will happen, I figure. Um, emergency room, uh, lights go out. Um, if they work, then I'm wrong on both things, uh, both guesses, and uh, it'll be fine. But they do make a, uh, a nice, stretchy, alien face there. Um, I've thought that these would be hard plastic, but they are not. They're, um, it kind of feels like uh, glue, um, like silicone, not silicone glue. Well, yeah, silicone, I guess, if you're going to uh, do some caulking. Um, they have a unique rubbery feel to them. Uh, I was not expecting that, but that's one of the things we got. And they came in a Ziploc bag, number 25 is on there, so apparently I bought 25 of them. And that's more than enough for, for the testing. And I, I don't suspect I'll, I'll use these in my uh, Christmas show. We do an animated Christmas light display. Um, but they're, they're worth purchasing the review. What else we got in here? We have some, oh, these vampire clips. I'm not certain. I think these are vampire clips, and I'm not certain why I ordered vampire clips because I don't think I ordered any wire. But they are. The, I've been wanting to try these, and I'm surprised I ordered these without ordering any wire. I'll have to check my receipt, um, and I'll have to read the directions because I've never used them. Uh, but ideally, you get, you get unused wire, and these slings slide on so you can make your own. Uh, cord, you need your own bulbs and everything else. Uh, but one problem that I have with spacing, and I did a video about it last year, on the roof we do reds, greens, blues, whites, and at some point I, it, 
the greens are always the last one to go on and they're they're eight inch spaced rather than six inch spaced i take them back they're four inch spaced rather than six inches because i gotta manipulate them to make a uh, uh to make the spacing work but one advantage of this is what i wanted to try out is if i make my own cord and i do rgb white uh, red green blue white on the same cord i can make one single humongous strand that goes around the roof coil that up and I could save myself probably a good eight hours of hanging at. Uh, but this says it's, this is a slide on plug. Um, this is a polarized plug. One blade is water and marked white. This blade must be connected to rib side of wire. Okay, in order for, to do this, I'm gonna have to have wire. Hopefully I was smart enough to buy them, but I doubt I was uh, for the simple fact that I don't have any memory of it. But uh, now I have to buy wire, so good reason to buy wire. Um, so yeah, so we got that as well. Let's put that to the side and see what else we got in here. Oh, we got, I believe these are our strobes. I got a bunch of different stuff in here. I got male and female vampire clips or slide on clips. And I think these are strobes that we did last year. Yep, they are. Look at those bad boys. Those things just pop. My goodness. I love these things. If you guys ever have never had these, absolutely get some. They are worth every freaking penny. Um, these things are just phenomenal. I'll throw up on the video a... Uh, I'll throw up on this episode a quick video. It's probably up now of what these things did for us last year's show, and they are phenomenal. This is my favorite light that I own. Um, these are, however, not mine. Uh, Scotch Test the Dummies, and I figured if this was their box, so I got their shirt on. They are a, another, another YouTubers. Uh, Bart from Scotch Test Dummies got a hold of me and he wanted to uh, purchase some of these lights. He saw our unboxing video and liked them and uh, wanted to know where he could get them. So I, I got him some and uh, I'll give them to him. We'll throw them up in his yard and he could have as cool of his yard as, as we do. It'll be awesome. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't ever seen Scotch Test Dummies, they review Scotch, we review bourbon. Um, they do a phenomenal show. To me, and there's, I don't know, kind of, a, kind of on a tangent here. To me, there's all sorts of different shows you can go watch, but this is kind of a comedy skit. Um, it's not quite uh, Odd Couple, but it's Odd Couple-ish, Odd Couple adjacent. Uh, and my wife actually turned me on to the show, but she, she will roll on the floor laughing. I've seen it happen one time in watching those episodes. So she's she's a big fan of them. But these are for them, so yeah, Scotch Test Dummies. Um, good friends of our show, so. Uh, let's see what else we got in the box. Um, we got some more strobes, so we got him some strobes. Now I'm curious what's in the very bottom. Maybe I'll get lucky, I've got a lot of these clips. Maybe I'll get lucky and it's actually a wire that I ordered. I have no idea what this is. Um, Starburst. Oh, I do know what this is. This is a product I've never seen reviewed. There may be one out there. It's a product I've never seen in person, but I saw this on their website. And I thought it was dang neat. Um, if, if what I remember about it is, is it kind of like the firecracker lights that we did in the last episode, I think. But they, you can manipulate them and make them what you want. What you want. Okay, not what I expected. They're silver starburst. I don't remember ordering silver, but maybe I did. Um, cut the plastic off of here. These are heavy duty aluminum. Um, I think I'm supposed to cut them. No, I'm not. Okay. So these bend in any direction that you want them to. And you can do your own little creation. And I thought they looked neat. And I thought they might go somewhere in the house during uh, Christmas time. Uh, I don't necessarily see a practical use for them in the Christmas light show outside that we do for our animation. Um, but as you can see, they can do a bunch of different stuff. You can make these into anything you want. I'm just kind of bending them right now, but let's see what they look like plugged in. Okay, 
that's kind of neat. They can stand up on their own. Uh, I'm sure somewhere in there is a cool little monster or whatever. Um, moment of truth. Huh. Okay. Is there a controller? There's no controller that I can see. They're just kind of doing their own thing. Hmm. No instructions. Um, I don't know. You can't control them, so I guess they're just blinking all the time. I don't know. Uh, for what I wanted them for, which is just to kind of be up in the uh, in the house somewhere with different designs, kind of get people something to a neat little toy. I don't know. They're okay. Not what I was expecting, I guess. We'll see. But I'll leave that here for you. I guess if you could control it like you can the uh, firecracker lights. Oh yeah, I have these lights we've that we've unboxed. These are the firecrackers. You can control those to seven different settings. And these are our net lightings that we got out. And both of those are really cool. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of kind of interesting. It's it's uh, we'll see. I'll reserve judgment for now. Um, I think it I think it'll look like an I think it'll look in, like a neat Christmas decoration inside the house. Obviously, nothing for the animated uh, show outside. At least nothing that I can think of top of my head. So it looks like I got a bunch of plugs that I wasn't smart enough to order cord for. And so I'll need to order that. And I got the Scotch Test Dummies. I got Bart's uh, um, strobe lights, which if you, if you watch my unboxing from last year, if you guys are interested about these, I, I do a big thing about these. These are absolutely killer. Those are awesome. So I guess that's about it for today's unboxing. So what we'll do now is we're going to test all these things. We're going to test the, the fairy lights. These are firecracker lights, but they're also called fairy lights. We're going to test our net lighting, and we're going to test all the stuff. We're going to freeze some stuff. We're going to do some water stuff. Uh, we're going to th throw it up and see what it looks like at night. It is the off season. It's July. Whole Christmas in July theme. Uh, so the trees all have leaves. Bushes all have leaves. So we won't be able to get quite a picture of what we do for an animated show. But we got our unboxings done. Uh, everything from Creative Displace up in the Kansas City, Kansas area. So that is uh, it for today. So tune in for the next episode. We're going to be freezing some stuff, I believe. We might have something to do in the meantime other than freezing. But I really want to get to the freezing thing. So, Charlie, thanks for watching today's Christmas on Crestline episode. See you guys.